Welcome to ScanBuild demonstration video. ScanBuild is Constructor's Graphically Quantity Takeoff tool. This enables you to take off quantities rapidly and accurately from an image. In order to demonstrate ScanBuild, we'll start by using a demonstration image that is included with the standard installation. You notice here that on the screen I've already filled out the project particulars for the particular job that I'm working on. So assuming that that is complete and that the image has already been scanned into the system, we can simply click Scan Build, which will bring out our image. We notice here that the image appears to the right, and if I move my mouse to the left of the screen, I have a formula tree list. In this particular demonstration, I'm simply going to do the concrete waffle slab. You note there that I would simply pick that from the tree list. It already has a cost per square metre. In the case of the demonstration, the costing is irrelevant. What we are simply demonstrating is how quick and easy it is to do a takeoff. So having selected the concrete waffle slab residence, I can simply move the mouse to the right hand side of the screen select the area now that the quantity needs to be calculated. In this particular case I'm going to go around the perimeter of the drawing and this is done by simply going and clicking each edge that I would like to calculate the perimeter for. Of course I can zoom in and do this a little bit accurately. With the scaling in Constructor it allows you depending on the quality of the drawing, to get within a quarter of percent accuracy of the original scan plan. So as I go around the perimeter, we note that the system is calculating the total area. When I return to our start point, I simply double click. We note here that the area that has been calculated within the graphic takeoff is calculated here for us. If we return to the left hand side of the screen, we notice that it has keyed in the actual area of slab. It then simply multiplies it by the cost per square metre, giving us a total quantity. Now that was using what we call our polygon tool. Let's do a different area. Let's have a look at the garage. So we go over to our formulas. We're going to put a a concrete infill slab in the garage and just to demonstrate this we'll use a different tool we'll even change the colour in this case I don't need to use a polygon tool because it is fairly uh, isometric shape so I could simply use my rectangular tool and I would simply just draw a rectangle or an area around my infill slab for the concrete. Once again if I return to my formulas you note here that it is inputted that quantity takeoff into the screen. What we also have is uh, these totals in the estimates are running totals which means that the system will take note of them and sum them up. Let's just do another type of takeoff. If we go to our external brick walls so we can close this formula. If we go to our external brick veneer walls, in this particular instance they're 2400 high ceilings, and we're going to look at uh, a brick veneer plaster line. Let's just quickly have a look at that uh, formula and see the contents of it. If we right click it and view it, we note here that this particular formula as it's being used, it will include the expansion tires, it will put in the flashing, the corners, insulation, the corking of the joints, the skirting. It would also calculate all of the uh, members required for the external stud frame. It also calculates the amount of brickwork in that area. Keep in mind it's working out at square metres at a height and it also puts in the plaster. So let's now use that uh, formula in order to do the takeoff. I simply go over to my picture. We note here that the uh, the tool used is simply a linear tool, so I would simply just create a linear measurement by once again moving the mouse to the perimeters of the building. As I use this formula, all of those components that we saw previously are calculated. So once again I would go around and simply select all of my brick veneer walls, which I would want this formula to be applied to.
once again I can zoom in and get in nice and close okay effectively what we've done by doing the series of lines around the perimeter it has worked out a total linear meter rate so if we return back to our formula we'll see there that, that is our quantity it's multiplied by the cost as brought out by those components that we looked at previously and once again our linear meter rate so that's uh, how hard it is to use Scamble in Constructor